Hello, it's Mrs. Rowe, and I am here to read you a story called Mouse Shapes, and it is by Ellen Stoll Walsh. She also wrote and illustrated the book called Mouse Paint, if you've read that, and also Mouse Count, which is about numbers. So let's see what this one's about. Mouse Shapes. Wow, look at all those shapes. What shapes do you see? I see some circles, some triangles, square. Oh, what's that called? Yeah, a rectangle, a longer square. So here's another title page, Mouse Shapes by Ellen Stoll Walsh. And this book is dedicated to Betsy and Ron. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. You might hear my cat meowing in the background. I think she knows I'm reading about mice. Let's hide in here, said Martin. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look at all those shapes. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. Does anyone remember the name of those three colors, red, yellow, and blue? Yeah, those are called the primary colors. We can make things with them. Here's a square, a triangle on top, makes it a house for a little mouse. And if you had a square and a triangle, you could make a house at home. A triangle and a rectangle makes a tree, said Martin. And the circle is the sun. There's the rectangle, the triangle, and the circle sun. It's pretty cool. But these rectangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet. But any shape with three sides is a triangle. So there's all different kinds of triangles out there. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for a little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds, so that's kind of like a square that's stretched out. Two diamonds look like a little, a uh, little book for a mouse to read, said Violet. Ooh, this one's getting complicated. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Wow, watch out, the cat likes fish said Violet. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and the nose and Fred stuck on the ears. Let's see what shapes they made that cat out of. Ooh, the face is a, a circle and the eyes are also circles. And then I see the nose and the ears are what? Yeah, they're triangles. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. So you could make animals out of shapes at home too if you want. Just then, the cat pounced. The mice ran away. And he didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat is too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. And the clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice, all out of shapes. Look at that. 
Maybe they're self-portraits, meaning a picture of themselves that they're making. And it surprised the cat. And the cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese is that cheese with the holes in it. Let's see what they do. <gasps> and so they did. The end. So maybe you'll think about things you could make out of shapes if you have paper and glue at home after you hear this story. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye.